Hi, my name is Tommy and welcome to Semaphore. Today's topic is open source, specifically open source security. Open source is great, it adds a lot of value to the community, to developers, and I think we don't usually blink an eye when it comes to adding a dependency to our project because it solves a problem or it aids us in any way. However, there is also some misconceptions that maybe open source is a little bit more secure than proprietary software. We rarely consider that a dependency can be a vector for a vulnerability in our application. We could say that open source comes with its own unique set of challenges and benefits. I think that the CX tools backdoor serve as a wake up call for organizations and developers to be more vigilant in case you are not aware, in March 2024, Andres Freund, a security researcher, discovered that a popular open source called CX Tools, it's a compression library uh, that's widely used in a lot of distros and part of OpenSSH, has been compromised with malicious code. This is a very popular open source package because it's a library that represents compression and it's used for compressing files and streams. So at the time, the discovery of this backdoor was big news. It turned out that one of the maintainers of this open source package called Chiatan had introduced the backdoor maliciously so that hackers could access and take control of any machine via SSH, even if they didn't have the password or the SSH keys for that server. The backdoor was eventually discovered and removed, but the failed attack underscored the potential damage that a well-positioned actor can inflict. This vulnerability had the potential to affect all the Linux machines in the world. So in this video, we're going to explore the benefits of open source, the risk it poses, and most importantly, how we can use open source securely in our projects and protect our organization data and infrastructure. So let's begin by exploring what makes open source so special. First, the obvious, collaboration. Developers and companies around the world come together to create powerful, cool new products and libraries. Open source software tends to improve at a much faster pace than traditional proprietary solutions. Open source software also provides organizations with great flexibility and customization options. Open source software provides organizations and developers with a lot of flexibility. Developers can change and customize the code and there are no constraints for vendors or licensing restrictions. And let's not forget the cost you save by not having to pay for licenses. Now, while open source offers many benefits, it's important to recognize that also it comes with its fair share of security risks. Just because the software is open source doesn't mean it's free from flaws. So let's talk a little bit about the downside just to keep things balanced. Uh, one thing is uh, that open source projects often release updates very frequently and organizations have trouble to keep up with all these updates and this leaves them vulnerable to attacks. Another major risk is when the project becomes stale or unmaintained. This leaves the project with a lack of security updates. When we are talking about open source dependencies, it's easy to forget that the open source dependencies are potential vectors to attack, like the CX tools vector. We can have the best security experts in our team reviewing our own code, but if we forget to check third-party dependencies, we are exposed. Another potential problem, especially for corporations, is that open source comes with no warranties on most cases. This makes sense because people are releasing software for free and they are not obligated to uh, warrant security. They are working on a best effort basis, but this can be a problem in software industry. So how can we use open source securely and mitigate security risk? The first step is the most obvious one, but we should regularly review dependencies, review all the components that we are using in our project and ensure they are kept up to date with the latest patches and the security updates. We should have clear policies to select and use open source software to minimize reliance on third-party code. 
we should also add security testing in our development life cycle this may include static code testing tools dynamic testing or penetration testing depending on the case and we should be able to address vulnerabilities early on regularly auditing your systems to uncover potential risk uh, such as outdated code or insufficient authorization checks lack of logging or monitoring and finally we should leverage software composition analysis tools these automatically scan the code base for vulnerabilities and outdated components it scans our dependencies and checks cve databases for known vulnerabilities we should integrate this and all the other solutions in our continuous integration tool so the code base and the dependencies are continually scanned and audited open source software is great I really like it. I use open source software whenever I can. I had been a Linux user for the longest time uh, in my jobs, in my uh, personal space. Uh, but we have to recognize that it comes with its own sets of trade-offs. We get powerful functionality, but get more security exposure. The good news is that with the right strategies and tools, this risk can be managed effectively. Thank you for watching to the end. If you like this video, why not leave a like and subscribe for more content. Until the next time, stay secure.